Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, it's a little bit of a different one today. I have my old tack locker. <laughs> so obviously at the moment we're in a British lockdown. Um, this is lockdown 3.0. There's no shows on, we can't really go anywhere. And I'm feeling a little bit bored, to be honest. I'm loving riding every day, but I just want to get out and compete. So I thought, what better than to show you guys what I would pack in my tack locker if I was going to a show. You may call this wishful thinking. <laughs> I definitely wish I was going to a show. More specifically, I wish I was going to an international, which is when I would take my tack locker. As you can see, it says Team GBR, and it's got my name on it. And this is so everybody knows whose it is when you go to a show. Um, I've done many internationals over the years and everybody there typically has a tack locker and that is because at the internationals and at and at the home internationals and at the premier leagues etc you typically have to walk quite a long way from your horse lorry to the stables and it just on a show day when it's quite stressful you've got to work backwards and figure out your time to warm up your time to get ready, plat, stretch, arena walk, all kinds of things. And the horse is in a temporary stable. It's just too much to keep running back and forward. And God forbid, you will most likely forget something every single time. So we all have a tack locker and it's got all the essentials in that you would need to stop you stressing out before a show. So today's video is really we're going to talk through it all. I'm going to talk through what I've packed in my tack locker over the years, what I would put in, what I think we should put in, and we're just going to have a rummage. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get going, shall we? So come with me and let's have a look. So where to start? So guys, I'm going to start with the obvious today. So I think the obvious would be the bridles. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but to most shows we take two bridles and this is because you would like a snaffle for the trot up. Most international competitions require you to do a vet check or a trot up as we call it and you have to trot your horse up um, in front of a few judges, the FEI vets, and they confirm whether you pass or fail and hopefully everybody passes and then you'll be allowed to compete. And that's typically because horses have traveled from all over. They want to make sure everyone's in good health, that there's nothing wrong with anybody. So we do a vet check and we use a snaffle. And a snaffle is when you have one bit and it is a snaffle bit or a, this one's a loose ring. So a loose ring snaffle means it can move. Don't know how well you guys can see that. I was actually gifted this by Steuben recently and it's really cool because you can unplug the uh, unplug? Is that, is that the right word for this? Unclip the um, brow band, which I love, so we could change that. But you need that for the vet check and for maybe training. And then most of the competitions I did abroad required a double bridle. They were compulsory um, at the level I was competing, which was junior level and also young rider, which is about advanced medium and pre-St. George. So they're compulsory. And so you'd always have two, and I would typically train in this one. It's better off to train in the one that you're actually going to use. Um, but yeah, we need two. Obviously, I would take my hat. I am newly sponsored by Cask, which is very exciting. So should we take a look at this hat? So this is my beautiful Cask hat very pretty this is actually brown and i would probably wear this for the training days i'm currently waiting on my competition helmet that will be navy with sparkle top and um that's just delayed because of coronavirus but it's fine because we're not actually going to a show at the minute but i'm very excited for when that arrives i would probably keep my hat in the tap locker because let's just put that on there for now yeah, so when you're rushing, you typically forget the most obvious things. Um, you, I actually forgot to take my hat to a competition once and I had to borrow one. And it's just what happens when you're stressed or busy or in a rush. You just forget the obvious. So keep that in here to make sure I do not forget it and I do not run behind schedule. So they're the kind of obvious things like this, the bridle, my helmet. Also, obviously, the saddle. 
Um, I typically only take one saddle to a show. Most of my horses only have one saddle, um, other than maybe if, if they wear a dressage and a jumping. But you only take one saddle. That's always one of the biggest ones to check because I'm not sure the FBI have allowed for bareback yet, but I don't know, could be wrong. Um, so saddles in here, always take a fluff pad. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I would normally take one in white as well because I would train in a black one and I would save a white one to match the white saddle pad and to make things as neat as possible. Whilst I just said saddle pad, I would also obviously take a saddle pad. I haven't put one in here today because this is theoretical. <laughs> we are not going to a show. So I forgot to put the saddle pad in and that's what I would normally check um, before every single show. I do a checklist on the whiteboard I write everything down and I revisit it pretty much every day until the competition and then I tick it off as I put it in to prevent any fails. So that's the obvious thing. Let's talk about the grooming product, shall we? So we've got, again, quite obvious things. We've got bit butter. So if you're not familiar with bit butter, this is amazing. It goes in the mouth each side and it prevents any cuts, it prevents any dry skin, it prevents any problems because occasionally horses can get stressed at shows, they might chomp their bit, they might do anything. So this is a lifesaver. What else have we got in here? We've got some Steuben Care Hoof Balm. This is amazing for hoof health and obviously we want to keep the horse's feet good all the time but at a show as well. We have got some EquiCleanse. This is just in case they get a cut, a problem, any skin issues. We like to cleanse it. This says, what is this? Wound cleaning. Very useful to have. You'd be surprised. OK, this goes without saying, but cotton wool. Any problems, any cuts, any grazes, also any um, froth, any, any drippage, anything like that. Um, this cleans it. It's fantastic. This is cool as well because, so at an international, you want to put, well, it's actually required that outside your stable you put your phone numbers just in case any problems, anyone walks past and notices your horse is missing, there's a problem, anything like that they want to be able to contact you. So you have to put your name and your phone number. Obviously, I'm not going to share my phone number, but if we can see this. And obviously, it says Erin Williams, Great Britain, so people know whose horse or whose stable is where without having to phone the organizers. We have basic wash things. So I think most competition centers have hot water but the occasional one doesn't they just have a hose and it's never close to your stable so obviously we have the bucket in here we have the curry comb sponges some soap that's shampoo it's not soap it's shampoo and it's coconut smell we love this we have a sweat scraper for post test and also post wash off we have this like polishing mitt thing, which is actually brilliant to get off last minute dust, anything like that. And that's just like a basic bucket that we would always take. We might add more before we go, depending on the horse. I'm very lucky that all my horses are dark, never had a gray, so don't need any special kind of cleaning products. Most of mine are very, very clean. I did actually have a Palomino though, and she was beautiful, but she was very, very clean. Never had to worry about any poo stains, any dirt, nothing. Let's get out the grooming bag. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always super nosy. I love to see what's in people's grooming bags. I have no idea why. It's not that interesting, but it, it interests me. Let's have a look. So we obviously have brushes, plaiting bands. We typically at a competition would sew in the plaits. Um, that just makes sure everything lasts longer. It looks neater. It's just better to be honest but yeah we have spare bands just in case of an emergency we have Vaseline this stuff is amazing it's just so helpful it, it, again any any issues any grazes it just covers them it for me for my lips <laughs> brilliant and yes I do share the Vaseline that I would put on my horse I think it's just a horse girl thing I think most people would relate <laughs> See, 
we have brushes, standard, all of these, normal brushes, a bit more bit butter. We have a hoof pick, obviously, Union Jack. I don't know if you guys can see this. Also, a funny thing is every single brush has my name on it, or it has a pink piece of tape like this. And this is because at most shows, um, at most shows you groom yourself, but you're located normally within the British camp or your country's camp. And therefore, there's, in a rush, everything goes everywhere. You put it to the side, somebody else picks it up. So everyone picks a colour or puts their name on it. And therefore, it hopefully prevents anything going missing. And also at the Europeans, we had grooms. We were so lucky. So there was two international grooms assigned to two horses each. So obviously when one of these ladies would have been grooming two sets of horses, she still needs to keep the grooming kits within the respective places. So that we all got assigned a colour or a sticker or something. Like one year I think I had Hello Kitty stickers or one year I had pink tape. It varies, but it works. And this is so funny. I was actually cleaning this out the other day for this vlog and I saw this. And that is not my name, that is Hugh Smith. So that is one of my teammates, Rose Hugh Smith. Clearly, somebody put this in the wrong bag. I'm sorry, Rose, if you want this bag, let me know. I'm sure you don't miss it anymore because that was probably like five years ago, but prevents that happening. So let's put all this back. That's kind of the general stuff. Like I said, we add as we go. We have, we have a comb, another hoof pick, more pink tape, as you can see a British tea cloth or, or whatever you want to call that and that is just for wiping slobber off the mouth, wiping any sweat off, cleaning my boots before we go in, the list goes on. So as well what you might see is this and this is a big box of numbers so at a dressage test everyone gets assigned a number and this is how the judge knows the right horse is in the test. Uh, most judges, international judges, normal judges, anything, they don't know you. They've not seen you before, so they can't just guess who you are, so we have a number. This typically goes on the bridle. It's got two little holes here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but clearly last time I was number 28. <laughs> and with G, I have to put a stallion badge on in, at BD competitions. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is to let everyone know not to mess with him. No, I'm kidding. It's just to make sure no mares come too close. Everything's kept safe and it's just, it's really, really good. There's a hanger in here and this is because I would normally put my jacket or my tailcoat in. Again, I'm, I mostly get ready at the horse lorry or wherever we are. However, a lot of the times, um, the competition season's in the summer, so it's actually boiling. So you'd maybe leave it off while you warm up or you would maybe put a gilet on something like that so i think we should get into the good bit now which is all these drawers the secret stuff guys <laughs> now we're going to look in all the drawers we're going to start with this one so in here obviously i would always leave my gloves for the competition i'd always take a few pairs probably more than two but these are my amazing training gloves look at that beautiful union jack and these are my very brand new white Union Jack gloves. I would obviously wear these in competition, but I have just been given these by my amazing sponsor, Rokal Gloves, and these would always be the ones in there. They're really good as well because they've got vents to help your hands air out and it just stops the sweaty mess and it helps you grip the reins better. I have spurs in here because spurs are compulsory at my level. I get a lot of abuse on social media, on TikTok. Uh, Instagram for spurs but they are compulsory at my level which is well it, they were compulsory at pretty much every level they were compulsory on ponies juniors and young riders but these are really good they're very soft brow they do not hurt like I'm saying I'm doing it to myself <laughs> do not hurt so I don't think they hurt the horse either but this is not a debate for spurs please don't come at me in the comments I had no choice <laughs> so I've got a hairbrush in here you never know how many times your hair gets disgusting at show and you just need to pin it back for prize giving or whatever. So I always have a hairbrush. I always have, this is called a stock and what it is, it goes under your shirt and it's, 
it's kind of the, I don't know why we do it, I think it's just tradition, but anyway, I've got a beautiful Union Jack stock, and that would go here, up by my neck, and it would go under my jacket, and it just looks so smart, so that's always in here too. I have my whole box of hair stuff, so you have to have your hair in a bun when you do a dressage test, and in here is just a whole host of clips, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, it's got clips, it has the sparkly um, hair nets, it has non-sparkly hair nets, it has compi blister plasters for when my boots are killing me. It just has everything you would need. And I would typically get this ready in the horse lorry, but you never know what mistakes can get made or sometimes your hair literally falls out. So extra clips. Also, I'm not sure if this is everybody or just me, but I always have snacks in here. So I have my favorite snacks, which is mini cheddars. And I also have a pack of Kinder chocolate. And I just, I think I'm just, I'm just, I'm just always hungry. So I always have a snack for post-ride, pre-ride, a little bit of energy, you name it. I would also probably add in some gummy bears or maybe like a Red Bull or something, because occasionally your nerves, you're going. So I know sugar doesn't normally help, but for me it did. Taking a few sweets, just, I think it was the placebo effect. It made me feel like I had like extra energy or something. <laughs> this is duct tape. You always need duct tape, literally. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, what film was I watching the other day? It was something to do with spaceships and they fix the ship with duct tape. So duct tape fixes everything um yeah so we have these these are super random i don't know if you guys can see this so what these are is little straps with union jacks on and these go over the bandages if you are lucky enough to get in a prize giving so you put pretty white bandages on and then you put this over so everybody knows you are great britain that leads me on to bandages so in here, we would always take white bandages and you would only ever wear these if you got into prize giving. So it's obviously wishful thinking, but you can't go the whole way to Germany to a competition and not take them. So we also have black ones in here for training or for God knows what, just mainly the training. I personally prefer boots, but that's just me. But I do think bandages can look a lot neater. Um, in here, we have black heart boots, obviously beautiful white ones ready for competition and overreach boots. I would typically only use those in a prize giving as well because my horses don't typically overreach but you can just never be too careful. This is like a little wall hang thing and obviously outside of the stable invaluable for head collars, bridle, anything you want to hook. You, all, you just need one of these. Let's put that on there for a minute. What's in here? So always, I don't know if it's just me or if it's like a thing, I always have sugar cubes, always. Um, a lot of people tell me off for the sugar cube thing, but I like them. I think it helps, it helps a horse mouth a little bit. They, it calms them down, it's a treat. It's, I just like sugar lumps as a little treat and they don't get that many, but I always have them. <laughs> I also have loads of other treats, I'm gonna find them. Let's see if I can find them in this box. Let's go to the next drawer, shall we? More treats and obviously, and a big Union Jack flag, which we would put up outside the stable. We have clamps. Okay, this is where the stuff gets boring, but also very, very useful. So we have clamps for flags, for privacy screens, because sometimes at a show, like especially for G, I would probably put up this big um, like curtain type thing and it just helps him not get wound up by seeing all the other horses go past. It wouldn't be in front of his door, it would be at the, the side because most of the temporaries are like big poles and slats. So. <laughs> so what else is in here? So we have LED lights. These are brilliant for night checks. You just hang them up and you, you turn them on when you need. We have the obligatory first aid kit. It has plasters, bandages, that sort of thing. Nothing completely interesting because there's normally medical stuff there. What else do we have? This is always useful. It is a hole punch and it's always when you get to an international where you can't get your girth up or you have an issue of some form. Very useful. 
these i think we were given these but these are eye and muzzle wipes very good for any eye bogies for any dirt on the muzzle or anything going in to the arena more of the pink tape so i can mark up my stuff and nobody steals it okay this is interesting this little box obviously you see a theme everything is a union jack shall we open this Okay, this has everything you need. I have no idea what that is, but it's some form of clamp and I'm pretty sure that would be useful. It has zip ties. These have come in handy more times than we can count. Like, I, I think I zip tied my boot on once, but also zip ties for hanging up flags, putting stuff on the stable. You need these going to an international. What have we got? We've got, I think that's a weighing thing. So this hangs up, we can weigh out haylage, we can weigh out anything that needs to be for the horse, super useful. These clips. They go without saying, you need them, you, just to hook on things and they're very strong, very good, you need. We have a padlock in here so we can lock the tack locker, very handy. Loads and loads of useful stuff, we have batteries in here, like it's just it pays to be prepared because it's always when you need something that you don't have it. So we try our best to be prepared and with horses you can't be too careful. So that's what's in there. That's that drawer. Should we go to the next one? Let's do it. Oh, oh it's a bit stiff. You guys need to see the organization in here. It's so good. How neat that is. We love it. We love to see it. Okay, so in here, what's, what have we got? I think that, okay, this is boot polish. I always put more in here before we go, but I always keep this polish because when you warm up, typically you get froth or sand or dirt on your boots and you wanna go in your test looking the best, so boot polish. In here, oh, we, okay, we have more grooming stuff. We have clips, brushes, the scissors, there's everything. So another grooming box, like I said, pays to be prepared. In here we have sun cream and fly spray for humans and this stuff has come in so handy. Um, honestly, in Italy, I went to the Europeans in Italy and I had so many mosquito bites and one actually got me behind the knee and it seized up and I had to take antihistamines to get it down because I couldn't fit my boot on because it was behind my knee. So if I'd used more of my fly spray, it wouldn't have happened. 10 out of 10 recommend. Sun cream, most of the Europeans I've been to were in 40 degree heat, so it really does pay to be sun safe. I'm definitely missing the 40 degree heat right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, in here, it's got, it's even labeled earmuffs. So, earmuffs or fly veils, or whatever you wanna call it, these are brilliant. I don't wear them on all my horses, but I just think they look beautiful. Um, my Palomino Blondie, she had a white one and it was stunning on her and on my ch on my, my baby pony, the, my first pony, I love him so much, Danny Boy, he was a chestnut and he had navy ones and they were beautiful. Um, I think if I took G to an international, I would maybe wear black ones. I think it would really, really stand out and it just prevents the horses getting upset if flies try and attack them in the heat. No, in here I've got deodorant somewhere. I can't find it right now, but I put it in because honestly, when you ride into those tests, it's hard. You work so hard um, and you sweat really badly. <laughs> so always got deodorant because it makes you feel better and it makes you smell better. So that's in here somewhere. So what have we got in here, my guys? This stuff, okay, this is not sponsored. This is not an advert. This is just the best main tail conditioner ever love it so obviously they have to go in looking pristine we have to groom them this fly spray this was given to me by steuben and it is amazing it's yeah fly spray is so necessary they can get so attacked by all the flies when we go away and it's just it's just hard work so fly spray this is stain remover um always comes in handy goes without saying I also have a towel. You always need a towel for any froth, spray, dirt, dust, anything that can happen before you go into your test. You do not want to be going into your test if they've been in the field and they've got green mouths. 
it needs a wipe your boots they need a wipe <laughs> everything needs a wipe you need to be going into your test and presenting the best test ever you do need to look nice because first impressions count as you can see we also have a whiteboard this is brilliant so with this what we've done for the grooms in the past or even just for us we've written my times down my number like how long it takes to get from the arena <laughs> to, to the stables or vice versa and it's just so useful to have a whiteboard so we all know what's going on nobody's confused and we all get on at the right time it's coming more handy than you would ever have thought okay last but not least this this is a stencil a grooming stencil it's in the shape of a union jack because when we've been lucky enough to get into prize giving you want to show everyone exactly where you're from and exactly how proud you are to be there so we do groom a union jack onto the bum <laughs> Actually, we've done it for a competition before, but predominantly this is a prize giving thing. I do like everything to look neat. So guys, I could actually talk about this tack locker all day. The possibilities are just endless. You can fit anything in here and it is brilliant. It's been worth its weight in gold more times than I can count. But that's all I can think of today. I definitely think I'm a little bit show rusty. So if I've missed anything obvious, don't tell me because I'm not actually going to a show. <laughs> it's, it's fine we will live um, I am definitely a bit rusty I'm sure there's things I've missed but that is typically the key things I would put into my tack locker for going to a show or an international for local shows and ones around here you don't typically need a tack locker you've just got somewhere to put it in your horse lorry or your trailer or whatever you're traveling in but these for the bigger shows are just invaluable um, Please don't ask me where this tack locker is from. I cannot remember. I've had it since I was probably 12 or 13. I'm not even sure if the company is still in business, but it is brilliant. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed having a nosy into what's in my tack locker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.